Next up is the team that's picked to finish third, and that's West Texas A&M. Head coach Don Carthel, and getting ready for his eighth season, he's led the Buffs to three conference championships in the last seven years. The Buffs were eight and three last year in Kansas Bowl champions. Coach Carthel. Thanks, Dan. I kind of want to echo uh, what people have said about uh, our conference office. You know, I've seen a lot of changes in the Lone Star Conference since uh, 1985 when I went to Eastern New Mexico. And it's not just in athletics uh, uh, in general or the uh, athleticism of the players or coaches or anything like that. All that's really elevated. But I think the, the key thing is how professional you guys have made our conference. And uh, I think the association, you know, with the Gulf South is excellent. I may uh, not think too much of it when I get back from West Georgia late in the year, but uh, uh, I, I really like the concept of that. But uh, the key thing, I think, is the, uh, the festival that you've got all of us playing in now. And, you know, uh, the last year, I think our players, our coaches, and our fans, that was probably one of the highlights of our entire careers as players or coaches, was to be able to play at that, uh, at that uh, stadium there in uh, Arlington. So uh, hats off to you guys for doing such a great job. We got uh, some folks at my table here. Kent Johnson's our assistant athletic director. Uh, Brent Myers, our uh, uh, sports information director. We got our quarterback with us here, uh, Dustin Vaughn. Uh, he started last year as a, a sophomore. Uh, he'll be a junior this year. Hopefully when he gets through as a three-year starter, that'll be the first time we've had a quarterback uh, for three years. So uh, to get three years out of guys is really good in our offense, and we're real uh, excited about uh, our, uh, our offensive capabilities next uh, next year also. He did a great job last year coming on every week uh, growing. Stephen Lee's our new coordinator. Uh, six coordinators on offense in uh, eight years. So uh, uh, he's I'm, I'm really excited about what he brings to the table. We're actually going to play with the tight end uh, attached quite a bit this year, which uh, is uh, unusual for West Texas offense. But uh, uh, we've got some people in our program right now that we feel like we can utilize uh, those talents. So that'll be a, a slight change offensively. Uh, that, uh, that he'll bring to the uh, table. Joel Hinton and uh, Blake Purvis, uh, two of our other offensive coaches here today also. Um, offensively, we, we should be pretty stout. We lost uh, two, uh, two seniors last year, so basically nine starters back. Uh, we got five offensive linemen that have started a lot of games. Uh, interior three are real solid. Uh, we feel like as good as anybody in, uh, in the conference, hopefully at center in, uh, in both guard positions. Uh, real excited about that. Running back uh, Kyrie Robinson back, uh, started most of the year last year. Uh, he's uh, uh, been in, in, uh, in camp, uh, camp all summer long, getting in shape and everything. He's up about 220 right now and uh, looks really good. Uh, two, uh, two receivers that we feel like are uh, uh, really special, Lance Ratliff and Terrence Allen on the outside. Uh, Nate Slaughter's proven on the inside, uh, started all, all the games last year also. Kicking game, uh, very solid with uh, Van Voris and uh, Sergio Castillo, both all first team all conference last year. Deep snapper Ramon Lopez, uh, probably the best I've ever uh, ever coached, and uh, a real sad deal on his uh, on his behalf. Uh, Land Jacobson was head coach at uh, Phoenix College, was uh, murdered in his home just last week, and this was uh, uh, like a mentor to Ramon. So. Uh, uh, keep that family and, uh, and everything in your prayers. It's you never know. You know it is a uh, privilege to coach, like Kerry uh, uh, said. But uh, you never know. You know what's around the corner as a player or a coach or as a, as a person. So uh, got a lot to be thankful for all of us to be here and uh, be in such a special uh, uh, atmosphere as college football and everything. Defensively, we lost a lot of kids. Uh, we uh, we've got uh, four linebackers back that uh, have uh, have all four started a lot of ball games. We've got two safeties with a lot of experience back. Corner's going to be some new faces, and uh, up front's going to be a lot of new faces. Uh, Tyrell Higgins is probably the only one coming back that uh, got a, a lot of playing time last year at a uh, defensive line. But overall, we've got 53 juniors and seniors in the program, so we're definitely a veteran ball club, a uh, very mature bunch. Uh, just a lot of those guys uh, hadn't been uh, starters or had the live bullets flying at them like they're going to see uh, come uh, August the 30th. So I uh, wish everybody the best. And uh, uh, again, like uh, I believe it was who has said uh, stay healthy, uh, especially for all you athletes that are here. Uh, take care of yourselves and take care of your teammates in practice, and uh, let's have a, a good year. Thank you.